Okay, so what's the other second major protection mechanism? Well, this is a write protect mechanism that covers the entire range of the flash and it is overridden by a system management interrupt as opposed to a reset of the computer. So what this allows is the protection of the entire flash chip with system management code having the option to decide to allow certain writes to proceed if it would like. So this mechanism is mediated by, once again, something in the LPC device. So bus zero, device 31, function zero, offset DC, gives us this register, the BIOS control register. And specifically, bits zero and one are what we care about. So bit zero is called the BIOS write enable bit. And if it's zero, then you're not allowed to write. And if it's one, then you are allowed to write. So I had sort of briefly made mention of this previously in the description of how you would write via the flash registers. The BIOS lock enable then behaves in an interesting way. If you set the BIOS lock enable, then that means that someone setting the BIOS write enable to one will cause a system management interrupt. So the processor will transition to system management mode and that code will have an opportunity to decide to either allow the BIOS write enable to stay one or it could reset it if it would like. The idea here is that system management code can decide whether or not to allow it. For instance, if it knows that a firmware update is in progress or if it knows that the operating system is writing into non-volatile memory, for instance, NVRAM variables. So this provides a little bit more flexible protection than the protected range registers, which are just locked and set and can't be you know, gotten around until you restart the system. Same thing over on the 100 series chipset in that there's a you know, write protect enable and a lock, but they change the names. So whereas BIOS control, BIOS lock enable change to BC, so it's still BIOS control, but they abbreviate it BC, BC LE lock enable, and then BIOS control, BIOS write enable changed to write, protect, disable. So this is kind of a strange and, in my opinion, disingenuous uh, change of name. So previously it was like, set this bit to enable writing. And now it's like, oh, set this bit to disable the write protection. As if somehow there was always write protection by default and you're just disabling it here. But other than that, it behaves the same way. Once lock enable is set, writing this bit to one will cause a system management interrupt and system management mode can decide whether or not it wants to allow this to continue to be one. So jumping back to what we saw in the uh, section on flash register programming, there was this little line, but I just sort of briefly jumped over it. So enter an address to write, enter a size to write, enter the data to write into the FD to registers, set the cycle type to write, and then you have to make sure that the BIOS write enable is equal to one. So that needs to be set before you can say go and have the flash write actually happen. So what does this look like behind the scenes? Well, if software running on the CPU sees that if BIOS control BIOS write enable is equal to zero, then it goes ahead and writes BIOS write enable equal to one. That's going to hit the PCI, memory map IO, configuration address space, offset DC, and then the specific bit for BIOS write enable. And behind the scenes, the happy little elves down in the LPC hardware are going to use some conditional logic. They're going to say, if someone's writing to BIOS write enable equal to one, and if BIOS control BIOS lock enable is currently set, then they're going to fire off a system management interrupt signal. Now we're gonna learn about system management mode later on, but basically this processor is going to stop whatever it was doing, transition into system management mode, and then there's going to be some code over here, the SMI handler, system management interrupt handler, and it's going to decide, like, does it want to allow the software running in the CPU to write BIOS write enable equal to one? In this case, it says no, and then it rewrites that back to a zero. So to you running over on the CPU, it would look like you wrote a one, and then when you try to read it back immediately afterwards, if you just, you know, very next few assembly instructions, you tried to read it back, you would see that it was still set to zero. So it would look like some locked register where your write of a one was just discarded. But it wasn't actually discarded. It was behind the scenes. There was a write that occurred. There was a interrupt that happened. There was an interrupt handled. And then the interrupt handler decided whether or not it was going to allow that. This is going to be an important distinction between lockable registers that just don't ever get set versus lockable registers that do get set and then get reset. Uh, it's going to be an important distinction for an attack later on. 
So this is kind of an implementation of the you know, useless box, right? So the thing where you turn it on and it turns itself off. So system management mode, if it sees BIOS write enable, it can just turn it off immediately.